Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Everything is Fine episode 61. I do have a recap of part 1 and 2, so I'm going to read that and then we're going to hit on to uh, episode 61. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do the blur 50% of each episode. So yes, cat logo is going up or else my channel will be taken down. But if you guys want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. For anyone out there who wants to support me, I will have all these reads without any sort of censorship, any sort of blurs on my Patreon page, which is at patreon.com slash cktchaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. Whew. Not for Glorification by Little Ones. A recap of Everything is Fine, episode 1 to 60, in, parts, in two parts and several acts. Part 1, The New Forever. Act 1, Love is a Disease of the Mind. Hmm. What's that? I just is playing the game really the best way. Hun, you know I'm not a gambler, silly Billy. Never even played the lottery. Don't forget your lunch. Mwah. We need to forget. Winston. Winston. Bzz. Come here, boy. Huh? Hey. Oh, hey, Charlie. You spooked me there. Well, hey there, neighbor. Oh, hi, Bob. Hi, Linda. Hey, how are you and Sam free? Uh, hey, are you and Sam free tomorrow? Bob and I having a little dinner party. Oh. Honey, it it doesn't match my tie. Then get a new tie. Maggie, do you like trains? Uh -oh. Act two. This watch still works, but it doesn't tell time. Charlie Harris of Residence 398, Neighborhood 147D. The state finds you guilty of a conspiracy to undermine the optimal functions of society. Effective immediately, you are designated red status. I'm sorry, Charlie. There's no going back. Tap. Change status to red. Honey, no! Science 101. Faraday cage at the at home using a box and aluminum foil. Side of the box with foil, then the box is sealed the blanks of the box completely. The cell phone's inside and... Sorry, name's Judy. I saw you were looking for a foil in there. All out, right? Whoa. Well, well, well. What do we have here, Sam? I, I don't... Is that foil? Sam? Honey? No, 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 we are the same. The, the, their names are P Peter and D D Davey. I'm sorry, Tom. There's no going back. <sighs> Sammy, we need to talk. Act 3. They say witches died on that hill. Okay, and I, I'm, I'm so, so sorry for this, honey, but we need to move this body. It, oh my god, is that blood? Whoa. And what's all that green stuff? As you can see, it's a hammer. Uh, 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 officer? Th this wasn't us. Th this, this wasn't us. Bob and Linda Miller of Residence 3995, Neighborhood 147D. The state finds you guilty of murder. Effective immediately. You are designated. Red status. 
So you really want to go this way, huh? Linda, what are you doing? We can still... Shut up. Just shut your goddamn mouth for once, Bob, please. Uh. Linda, Maggie. Bang. Oh. Honey. Uh. You could have just let us go. Age 83. Weight 395 pounds. Change status to red? Yes. No. Uh. Mom? Dad? <gasps> oh my gosh. The screams. You're going to like view. Part 2. Earth After Rain. Act 4. Local Politics and Burst Watermelons. Lakeview is something else. Whoa. There she is. My name's Julian. I'm the, well, I don't really have a job title, but I suppose right now I'm, welcome, I'm the welcome wagon. Well, hey there, neighbor. Fair warning, we're bearing our nece necessities here. I'm Glenn, and this is my wife Gladys. The only thing left for us is to live free. Hey there, neighbor. What you got there, Beats? Oh, hey, Dave. Oh, hey, Becky. Hi, Becky. Don't bother Becky, Sam. Especially not about merits. Look. Oh, hey, Chris. Hey, Gina. We just want to say don't be nervous. The first time is a lot, but you can hang back. If you like, you, if you, like you can tag along with us and just watch how we do it. That way, when the time comes, you'll be ready to get your hands dirty. Rise up. Meet at Sam and Maggie's house. Officer. Officer, I'd like to make a report, please. Sam and Maggie are the leaders of the rebellion. Thank you for joining us once again for our most sacred civic duty. And now, your mayor, Laura. And the winner of today's vote was 71% of the ballot, Sophie and Kate. Oh my God. I'm sorry, Becky. Please, Laura, you can't, I... My boys, Laura, please make them stop. Oh, so that's it. That's you now, killer. What, you're gonna take this thing and shoot Becky? Maggie, I, I thought we were on the same page here. We do whatever it takes. Oh, it's over. That's your husband, right? Oh my god. The hunt is now ended. The winners are... Chris and Gina! I remember that. Ugh. Well done. well done, both of you. That's one merit each. Hey, Maggie, check it out. Act 5. The Devil Bakes a Mean Pecan Pie. Let's form an evil alliance. Sam, Maggie, you want to formally report Dave? Sam? Maggie? Is that what you want? Judy! Hey, Maggie, trust me. If I was going to kill you, you'd never see it co see me coming. The rebel, rebel, the rebels might be how we save the world. Are you with me, or not? So I guess if someone's gonna put him out of his misery, it's gonna have to be you, Sam, Maggie. Oh God, Glenn, Glenn, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please, it hurts. Please, make it stop. And now that we're alone, Maggie, I have to uh, I have a very important question to ask you. Neat or on the rocks? You could have stopped that from happening. Lied about the results of the vote. Do you know what I've given up for this, Maggie? 
The mayor isn't eligible for Heelside, so I'll never see my boys again. So no, I'm never going to lie about the vote. If I do, then all that I've given up will have been for nothing. Act 6. Manifesting Skeletons You lied to me. You never wanted to join the rebels. She, she's gone, Sam! No, my baby is out there. And her dad is coming to save her. Rise, speak to Chris or Gina about joining their rebellion today in the hunt. There's a bunch more in the bag. These will make it look like Chris and Gina are the heads of the rebellion. Please come on in and take a look. See, yesterday we followed Chris and Gina here. And we hate to do this because they're such good friends. But we have some concerns. Okay. Bye, Chris. What? Yeah, no reason for me to stick around anymore. <laughs> it's been so long. Weird to say it out loud. I'm gay, and I never had any kids. Chris is gay too, but he has a son. We were just friends before, and then when everything went to shit, Chris saved me. He suggested that we pretend to be a couple so I wouldn't get killed. Aha! Uh -huh, I knew it! Julian didn't believe me. I can't wait to shove this in his stupid face. Did you know that? I have no clue. Goodbye, Chris. Have a nice rest of your life. Maybe we shouldn't be together. I think... I think we should go our separate ways. Are you even hearing yourself? I'm your husband. You barely know Judy. You haven't even met these rebels. I'm your husband, Maggie. And you're my wife. Figure out how to remember that. What an asshole. Judy. So, Maggie, would you like to come with me? To the rebel base? Haven Dish Railway Museum. A railway museum? In the middle of the woods? Oh, hey. You're Maggie, right? We heard a lot about you. I'm Nicole, and this is my husband, Tim. Nice to meet you, Maggie. And this is Ormel. Say hi, Ormel. Uh, hi, Maggie. N n nice to meet you. Is, is that a kid? Yep, sure is. I know what you're probably thinking, but you won't get any info out of them. Say hello. Please hold. Please hold. Whoa, this place is huge. I... Oh my god. Well, hey there, Maggie. Long time no see. I, uh, uh, hey, I have a question for you. Remind me, because I forgot. Do you like trains? To be continued. There isn't a way things should be. They're just what happens and what we do. Terry Pratchett. Yeah, and yes, it's just in. Our sources have now confirmed that Air Force One has indeed been shot down, and the president is dead. This is the latest in a series of events that have shaken the world today. An organization calling themselves simply the New Government have implied their responsibility in a press release sent to all major media outlets. As we were instructed to don't don these helmets. We have been also been instructed to read the press release in full. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Firstly, let us thank you for the patience in these unusual times. Please enjoy our thoughts and prayer. No doubt you have noticed changes over the past few weeks and will notice many more in the coming days. For example, we have deemed it necessary to remove all government staff. There will be no interruptions of utilities as we have already sourced replacements. It is important to remain calm and await further instructions from your new governmental officers. 
If you are a child, a parent, or of a child, or children who have recently joined our cause, please be assured your children are being taken care of. You will shortly receive a package containing an item. Further instructions will be included with, within the package. If you are not a parent or your children have opted out of our cause or you refuse to comply upon arrival of the item, please remain in place and await processing. Oh my God. Con Sam. Maggie. Sam, are you okay? Yeah, 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 I'm okay. It's insane out there. I, 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 I saw them shoot the per pet Peterson. Diane and Rob? What? Why? I don't know. They were arguing with one of the army guys with the big bear head thing. I think it's a cat, right? What? Never mind. Uh, um, we, uh, we need to get out of there. Protest. Find her. We, are you crazy? Maggie, we need to do what they say. They'll kill us if we don't. But she's out there. I know, I know, but we need to be smart about this. We need to find her, but we have to say. <laughs> oh, I'm getting caught. It's an unknown number. Uh, hello? Mom? Sarah? Sarah? Sarah, honey, are you alright? Sarah, that's here, honey. It's gonna be okay. Are you hurt? Oh, hi, Dad. Yeah, I'm fine. It's it's good to hear your voices. Where are you, honey? We'll come to come to get you, and then we, we, we can head up to the cabin, and then... Dad, calm down. It's okay. No. I, I'll be fine. Don't come looking for me. Listen, Dad. Mom, I love you, and the time we spent together meant so much. I feel so lucky that I was your daughter. I... I... Sarah, listen to me. Whatever you're caught up in, whatever this is, it'll pass. I know it seems like all this is really important, but I promise one day soon we'll find you and we'll hold you in our arms again and everything, everything's going to be fine. Sarah, honey? Mom, you don't get it. This isn't some temporary thing. My new friend sees what's wrong with the world and we're doing what we need to fix it. They say we will see each other again, if you do what you're told. But none of this will pass. This is the way things are now. The future is here. Now it's happening. It's not going to be fine. Everything. Part 3. Mud Over Time Click, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Sarah. Uh-oh. Huh? Hello? Oh, Julian, hey. Oh, hey, hey, Sam. Got you having a little afternoon cat nap there? Huh, yeah, it's been a long day. Is that some meat for Winston? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I just thought I'll bring some over, but I'm mainly here to deliver a message, going around all the houses, actually. There's going to be an emergency trial tomorrow. I believe you know why. Greg said you reported Chris for several re rebel activities, and Gina took off. Oh, yeah. Right, well, Mayor Laura says this is a special circumstance, so we're having a trial tomorrow. Spoil alert, he's going to be redded. We can't have people that volatile in our community. Oh, right. Well, thanks, Julian. I'll see you tomorrow then. Sweet. And make sure Maggie comes too. This is mandatory. Is she in? Maggie? Oh, uh, actually, I don't know where she is. I just can't believe you're here, Charlie. <laughs> I know, sometimes I can't believe it myself. Are you doing okay? What? Oh, uh, because I watched my da daughter die in front of my eyes and it was all my fault? Yeah. Super. Thanks. I'm sorry. Charlie? No, I'm sorry. Bad joke. Gotta laugh. Or you'll cry, you know? Are you doing okay? 
Uh, well, compared, I can't complain. Huh? And how's Sam? He's, uh, good. Really? Why isn't he here? Charlie, show some tact. Come on. Sorry. No, it's fine. Yeah, we're having issues. It looks like it might not work out for us. Sorry. Yeah. But, uh, anyways, enough personal drama. So, uh, big question, but what's the plan to ha save the world? I'm guessing it involves you driving a train, Charlie? Sure does. Pretty crazy to think I'm actually gonna do it. I've been reading the manuals for, for weeks now. But, uh, Judy should tell you the plan. She says it's much better than me. Judy? Uh-huh, sure. So the thing is, Maggie, to save the world, we first have to understand what happened to it. And we think the most likely cause of all this is terrorist. Uh, terrorist? Yeah, I mean, call them what you want, but some sort of group that took over. Right, I mean, what? that's kind of what I, when everything happened, it seemed to be organized. Well, yeah, everyone seems to think the same, but we have something they don't. We have... Horus. It's glorious! Is he like a mad scientist? By Mike Murchell. I haven't heard the name Horus in a very long time. Last time I think I heard that type of name is like from 101 Dalmatian when Horus is like one of the bad guys. I think that's his name, Horus. So I was like, Horus, it's such a, it's such a old name that it's like hardly heard of, you know? But from the looks of it, he looks like a mad scientist or someone who's like really good at tinkering and building stuff. Hmm, I wonder why he's a secret weapon. But it's kind of sad going through all the recaps of everything and knowing and hearing their daughter and like how it all happened, when it happened, and how the government government got overthrown. It's a lot. It's a lot to take in. But it's getting interesting and I can't wait to read more. I'm so happy that they're back. Alright guys, if you guys enjoy my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and if you guys want, please check out my other webtoons that I read. I do read Down to Earth, The Remarried Empress, Marry My Husband, and so many more. And I just picked up Midnight Poppy Land, so definitely check those out. I do have a playlist that you guys can definitely go through and binge and just, yeah, do all-nighters just watching all of them. Um, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!